Hello everyone, I'm Lazy Grouse and welcome to a new run of Domina. In this series we're gonna play with a little stipulation suggested by a viewer. Since I tend to use Retiarius more than any other class, in this run I'm not allowed to use them. So I'm not getting the research for them and if I get one as a prize from a fight I have to release them. And on top of it, I usually don't get too many Mermillos, so I will try to foster one as our champion this time. Now I can't guarantee that we'll have one as a champion if they keep dying, So, but I'll try my best. And I will use the other classes too, so we'll have some variation of course, just no Retiarius. But enough about that, let's start the run. The sun is setting on the Roman Empire. Violent rebellions erupt in the far territories, while the political corruption erodes the empire closer to home. Fearing a revolt, the emperor intends to distract the population with the greatest gladiatorial championship the empire has ever seen, promising unimaginable reward of coin and glory. The emperor hopes to revitalize commerce and establish rule of law once again, but Rome is disintegrating in his clenched fist. It may be your last chance for glory in Rome. The next local games are scheduled soon, and you aim to win. And so I do. But we're not going to do the tutorial, because we have done it before, we know how to play the game, and um, we want to use Peter's blessings right away. So let's have a look at our boys, and um, not great, not terrible. I can work with him. And uh, he's mostly aggressive, which is fine, and he is not using a wooden sword. Not that it's that big a difference, but it just feels wrong, so he is absolutely not using a wooden sword. And this guy is pretty bad. Like, look at that health. That's pretty bad. So he might be a training dummy. I don't know. We'll see. This guy, also pretty bad. Let's actually fix your training a little bit. Because we are going to have you meditate a little bit at least. And let's drag down the agility a little bit. Because I don't respect that stat. Because it's... I don't think movement speed is that important. The rest is pretty fine because, uh, well, mm, I don't know. Let's put down agility a little bit more. So, Doctore, train humility because we have to. I don't, I don't feel like this ever comes in because, uh, I mean, the only time I see someone actually surrender is during exhibition matches, and I don't think they can't surrender. In a exhibition match, so what? Whatever you have to get this to get everything else, and always automatically train gladiators because why wouldn't you? I don't think there's any good reason not to always train your gladiators. We also want to buy a little bit of that and hire some employees because, um, well, the architect is kind of mandatory, the father is mandatory, and. Uh, I am usually a little bit split on the Bard and the Educator, because I think they're kind of similar and they both have very good effects, but I think the Educator usually edges out and I'll tell you why. It's because of Anatomy, because Anatomy is so good, like 25% attack damage and 25% crit critical hit, that's just, that's just bonkers. So, and we're also having, oh, first of all, let's fix, fix that. We're also having a naming convention, as we usually do. And uh, this time we're gonna use, well, we're gonna get characters from the show Archer, because I like Archer. And, uh, well, I like Archer. Whatever. So, let's get some palace and auto upgrade and, no, auto repair and auto upgrade. Let's see. Gladiators recover faster after hitting opponent's defense. Ooh, that's great. So, and the reason why I always do a a naming convention is mostly because, well, you get more attached to them if you if you actually name them, you know, like a Nosloc. And um, also, I don't remember who's who when they have these like Bavius and Marius. Basically, the same per person. I don't know who's who, but let's. Uh, Start the episode with a pit fight. Oh, that is perfect. Love to see that. So, good. Mm, I mean, it's okay. It's a okay amount of money. Well, it's it's a fine amount of money considering what we're fighting. And we get a guy right away. And we sort of need one because both of our other guys are kind of terrible. Cut his fucking throat. <laughs> yeah, cut his fucking throat. R right on, random bystander in the audience. 
Can he dust it? Can he do this? Oh, good right hook there. He almost got him. Oh, and he found a sword. And he almost got to swing it. So, good start for Bavius. Hey, he's even he even have a class. And he did get some skills. Let's see. Well, his health is going up, which is good. He is, uh, well, he's kind of better than the guy we got to start with. So he gets to move up. Everything's coming up, Metius. But Bavius, since he got his name from uh, fighting in the pits, I feel it's only only fitting that he gets to na be named Pam because, well, if you've seen the show, you know she, at least in the earlier seasons, she has a tendency to do to fight bum fights in some dank old cellar. So since she, she got her name fighting in a dank old cellar against a bum without weapons. I feel like it's fitting that she gets to be Pam. Okay, actually we need to decide a training dummy and I feel like this guy is kind of, he's a good training dummy. Let's pull down the weapon strength all the way so he doesn't do any damage and just use him. No wait. Actually, which one is better? It's five more damage on this guy, but he has less less health. I guess that makes this guy a better training dummy. So, I guess you <laughs> maybe you are also a training dummy. Let's do an exhibition match and send him Pam against both both you guys. Actually, let's just send him one guy. Send him the guy that does less damage. Let's train up Pam like hard in the beginning so we can have a like a strong foundation oh there goes the shield I'm a little bit sad I didn't hit anyone in the audience because I love it when something goes flying and five people just die that is always fun and he's instantly injured and of course it's health so he's gonna be a, tra a terrible training dummy but at least he's gonna be that for a while and Pam gets some skills. Yeah, as I was saying, we want a solid foundation with Pam as a strong fighter until we can get the Mermillos, which we will then like constantly train for a little bit until they're strong enough to actually send out to fight. And uh, we need 500 gold for that and a couple of researches. But we can squeeze, squeeze in another fight actually, like so. Just, uh, let's just keep training, Pam. And, um, yeah. If we can just get her strong so we can fight all the fights, keep getting money, it will be great. And, yeah, she got some damage on Pam, which is... I'm not amused. And he's... Oh, and it's... Oh my god, that's no health. Okay, well, that's really annoying but Pam is getting strong which is fine that's a price I'm willing to pay your lives that is it seems like a fair trade she gets training you get maimed everyone's happy so let's gather stones all in on Pam right now which is I feel like that's the normal thing to do just Get one really strong gladiator and you're, you're golden. So, can Pam beat this? She has kind of better gear. Um, okay, this is pretty perfect actually. Because hold your ground is uh, uh, like you get less knocked back by uh, people hitting your, well, people hitting you. And rebuff tolerance is you get less less knocked back by hitting your opponent, so they're just gonna stand there and not move, which is kind of perfect. But we do a lot more damage. They only have like 10 more HP, that's fine, and stats are better, so I think Pam can handle this. We need the money, we need the people. Let's fight it. We should win. We also have way better gear. Like, is, is he? Using a wooden sword, or a loser. Come on, Pam, get those hits in. Oh, there you go. Ooh, 
Got worried. She's hurt, but she's okay. Let's see. He's naked. That's fine. Got some training. That's fine. Actually, that's great. You. You are not terrible. Come in with some meditation. Good health. And, like, good base stuff. So, I'm not uh, uh, against this guy at all. He's got good aggro. Uh, fair evasive and not too much thirdly. So, you'll actually make a pretty decent Mermillo. Uh, let's just pull down agility because I don't respect that stat. Let's put you up there. And educator. I do like focus because it increases or decreases training time or increase uh, increases cr training speed. Guess both is fine to say. I do like the healing as well because Pam is injured and she's gonna get injured more than once. So it's really nice to have that faster healing. So she can start training again and get ready for the fight. Although most of her training is gonna come from winning fights, at least in this state, state of the game. And we are pretty good on money for now. We don't really have any backups to send in other fights. Actually, let's do this for now. Because, well, we do have training stuff here. And if Pam's just going to heal, we might as well give this training to someone else. So they get to train up a little bit faster. Let's get blade control. And then we only need 120 more so we can get Mermillos. And then we're all set. And we're going to go hard on training Mermillos. And it's going to be great. Got to get big, big ass swords and dual wielders and all that good jazz. Uh, Alright, we can fast forward this. Man, you're healing slow. Okay, we really need the the good stuff. The um, healing. I mean, are you even going to heal in time for, for the big fight? Uh, maybe, but I mean, it's going to be good enough, I suppose. Auto upgrade, excellent. Let's improve furnace and anvil so you work faster. Educator are finally done with the healing, excellent. And yeah, you'll be fine. You got half a day to recover, and then we'll throw you right back in there. There you go. That's a perfect opponent for you, Pam. Beat the shit out of him. Ooh, that's a good amount of money too. So we're gonna get our Mermillo training right away. Uh, real quick, we're not even half in, halfway into the episode and we can already get Mermillos. So, good start. Come on, Pam. Oh yeah, good, good hits and off comes the head. Excellent. Love to see it. And some training, which is just so beautiful. Look at her. She's already so strong. Almost done with... AI skill as well. This is great. I'm having a grand old time. So, what's the plan? Three days until a pit fight. Um, I would like to see time left. It's only a meter, but I guess that's fine. It's pretty quick, it, it seems. Let's dig some more coal pits. Okay, switch back because now you are actually training. Let's get Mermillo training. 14 days, so got a, a day or two left. Uh, let's see if they have some cheap gladiators. Nope. He wouldn't be too bad though. A little bit expensive, but I mean, he comes with his gear and stuff, so. And... Uh, not horrible. Seen worse, so 17 gold. I think that's worth it. So... Pretty okay starting health and very evasive and kind of aggressive. Not very turtly. I'm fine with it. So you're probably... Actually, we can't make everyone a Mermillo. Maybe we just make him a scissor or something. Because he's aggressive and evasive. I feel like that's good. They're both good for Mermillo and scissors, which is kind of my... I do like scissors among the new ones. I don't know what to think of Velite. And the name is kind of weird because isn't Velite a sauce? Like, isn't that 
it's a roux that you mix a bunch of stock in, right? I think that's what it is. I don't know. I never heard of a Velite before I, I played Domina, so... Maybe there was a gladiator, call, uh, gladiator style called Velite, but... It's also a sauce, which I find funny. But maybe we get a Velite today. Uh, not, no, maybe not today, but... In this run. I haven't used anyone, any of them since... Um, since I did the beta run. When I played the beta for the first time. So maybe we'll play with one this time. But I guess for now we can just... No, wait. I want to do the... Do an exhibition match. And I don't want... I don't want to wait for a Murmillo because that's 14 days. So who's good? He's He was pretty alright. He's starting to get like... Starter stats. Actually... You are... Oh, wait. You're terrible. Oh, what are you doing here? I don't remember... I don't remember you being that terrible. Why is your health so low and why is your aggro non-existent? You're gonna be... You are a hundred percent like a training dummy. So let's get the cheapest stuff for you. So we don't... I don't really want to pay for your stuff. Maybe you'll just use your fists. And maybe we'll make you a Valite. Because we're not allowed to use Retiarius, but Velite also have spares, and I like spares. It is 100% not as good as Retiarius, I can guarantee you that, because the net and the shield does a lot. Because this guy just has, has a spare and one throwing spare, I think. But I'm gonna say that Velites are okay. Oh, well, we're out of money. Whoops. Um, let's, uh, <laughs> whoops. Um, okay. In one day, we can sell, like, one unit of something to go to the pit fights. Food is fine. You need to make us some money. Oh. Okay, it is a Thrix without a shield, but those that gear is threatening. But Pam is so good right now. So maybe that's fine. We have the same number of wins. We have the same like armor, pants, and helmet. It's just the that that shoulder pad is threatening. <laughs> it is it is like high tier, which makes me think that maybe he's like really strong. But we need the money because I fucked up. Okay, the health isn't too high, so that's promising. Maybe his damage isn't amazing. And he doesn't have a shield, which is great. Okay, good, good. Okay, we're fine. Oof, that always worries me a little bit because... You don't know. What if she's... What if they're amazing? Okay, this guy. I can work with him. Health isn't too great, but base, base damage is fine with Apugia. Let's just upgrade that right away. And... I like that he comes with some meditation and turtle, so he can be a very tanky guy with a lot of anger, uh, aggro, but he doesn't roll around and do anything fancy. So let's lower the agility a little bit. Because you still need some agility so you can like get in close quickly, but you don't. I don't think it's worth to get like super much. I might be wrong, but that's my thought on it at least. So, let's uh, give you some basic stuff. Right, these can't wear shoulder pads for some reason. And your pants are expensive. Oh, and they can't wear knee pads. What is this? They have nothing. Hmm. Yeah, these are definitely not as good as... Um, as Retiorius. But, let's... Uh, I can work with these. That's fine. You are gonna be a Mermillo though. So let's train these guys. Let's give you a real sword. And send you to, to an exhibition match. So... Oh right, I should train... I should name my uh, training dummies because... I do have a name... 
in mind for them. Wait, which one is it? It's Mess... No? It's Anius. Right, Metius doesn't have any health. And you are fighting Marius and Metius. Which don't have any... Any HP, but we'll still get some training out of it. It's fine. So, throw your shit. <laughs> like, look at that aim. Oh, and he lost his spear. The shit, dude. Wait. Okay. I guess the... The guys I wanted... Okay. <laughs> the guys I wanted to train, did, did they just win? No, they didn't. Oh, they picked up their stuff. Okay, that's what happened. I guess. So, these guys lost their shit and the guys I was training picked that up. Okay, okay, okay. Now I understand what's happening. So, um, like this guy, we can probably just release him, honestly. Let him heal first, I guess. But, I guess I can use you for a little bit. Actually, your damage is kind of okay. Did I just... No. Okay, you. Let's not train your damage at all. You are gonna be... Brent. Because... No, wait. Is it Brent or Brett? It's, it's Brett. Um, because if you've seen Archer, he tends to get shot at any opportunity, so... I just find that hilarious. Actually, let's get up like strength and defense as much as possible. Let's get him uh, tanky and high health. So he can take a lot of damage, but he won't deal a lot of damage, which is perfect for a training dummy. And good. Educator. Let's get increased maximum stamina, which is good. Are you healing? You are. Good. And we need money again. I've been pissing away all the monies. And we need money before the Mermillo finishes. Oh, come on. Why, dude? The shit, dude. You want me to spend in one gladiator again? The fuck are you so mad with me? Seriously. Because this is a fuck you lineup, like straight up. This is not like, oh, let's show the people a good time. Let's have a fair fight. No, this is, this is an execution that I'm supposed to offer up one of my gladiators to get fucked by these, <laughs> these incredibly strong guys. Oh, uh, well, let's get rid of Metius. No, wait. Not him. Uh, Marius is the one I'm thinking of because he has he has no health, so he's not even good good for a training dummy anymore. So let's just send him in. Yeah, and most of these stuff are like at the end of the gear chain as well, so they are like top tier gear, such high damage. Oh, you got a hit in. <laughs> good try. Well. That's uh, that's what you get for being garbage, I guess. Uh, Brett 2.0. I guess he was there first, but he got named second. So, we don't have any money. So, we need to do a pit fight in five days. The legate calls at your villa, seeking refuge from the heat as he makes his way back to the, back to the city from Rome. He tells stories of political wranglings in the, in the capital as he drifts off to sleep. With his men absorbed in, a, in the courtyard, drinking and playing games of chance, you notice that the legate's cart is full, fully laden and unprotected. You're curious what he brings back to the city. So, we can uh, investigate and discover the contents of his cart to satisfy your curiosity. It's none of your business. Let a man sleep and leave his possessions alone. Have one of your guards empty the contents of the guards into a slave's chamber. Oh, that's... That's gonna end end poorly, I think. 
but I am morbidly curious what happens. I mean, odds are, like, maybe one of our gladiators get a little upgraded, we get like 10 wine, 10 food, and 10 water, because sometimes the the um, events are kind of like, why even bother? But I'm curious. Let's do it. Your guard is discovered and quickly apprehended. The legate begins to question the man, but swiftly stab him and claim outrage at his dis dishonorable conduct. The legate suspects that you had something to do with it because he's not a complete idiot, but since he can't prove anything, he drops the issue. Okay, so, I mean, that was fine. Wasn't a big, big deal. And no. Why would I release you? Fuck off. Um, you can get some free stuff by gathering stone. Which one is cheapest? Armor or blueprints, I guess. Improve armors. And we can't afford any of those. We need monies. And two days. We need a good pit fight. At least a couple of hondos. Would be nice. Okay, we get to bring two. That guy is threatening. Pam and... I guess this guy is decent. This guy is okay too. Hmm. We kind of have to. Like, this guy is pretty shit. It's this guy I'm a little bit worried about, but... I mean, Pam should be able to annihilate this guy. Shouldn't he? He's got the same gear, but... I mean, Pam's Pam. Pam is better than most. And the Velita should be able to handle, handle Erotian. Erotian. Whatever. Yeah, let's do it. We need the money. Okay, he does not have any HP. This guy's not very impressive. And hit your fucking throwing weapons. Like, oh. <laughs> okay. That's one of the things like that I actually like the Venite for because the the crowd just gets decimated sometimes and I love it. That's just beautiful. Uh, I can work work with you. You're very evasive and aggressive, not very turtley. So that's fine. Well, let's keep you balanced and we'll we might use you. Now we have some money at least. Pam needs to heal. She won't heal fully, I don't think. But yeah, let's let's actually get you throwing spares because this seems to be replenished every time. You don't have to get a new one like the nets. Oh, you can get seven of them. And a lot better damage. Hmm. This might not be that bad. I might have underestimated them. Let's put you up there. But now we're just gonna save money, I think, and uh, send some wine to this grumpy old bastard. And we can get these, though. AI yeah, proficiency is pretty nice. I don't know if if it's like put put AI, AI skill from 81 to 82 or whatever, but I mean, how bad could it be? And we're not doing any exhibitions because I want to be able to get to use some more people in the fight if we have to. Architect get more stones and let's see. Yeah we get to bring three so good thing I actually kept some uh, available. And these are not threatening. Good, excellent. Pam, Ponius and Anisius. You're gonna earn some names and Pomponius should actually have gotten his name by now, but this is fine. Well, he'll earn it now, because we should 100% win this. So, let's... We are chained, but still, we should be absolutely fine. Like, look at these guys. They're not even equipped. And Pam should be able to, like, take care of them by herself, so... And we get to throw some spears. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm never gonna get tired of the the crowd just getting getting uh, jib. Seriously, that is beautiful. Love it. 
And some good good training ups. That's beautiful. It looked like you got more skill ups than you did. This is terrible. But I told you you're gonna get a name, and so you shall. I guess you can get Archer. Because, well, you are a ranged character, so Archer makes kind of sense. But uh, we're not getting a Sagittarius because they're terrible. So you get to be Archer. Very good. Have a glass of wine. You... Um, you can be Lana. Let's heal you up. And, uh, right, we're still waiting for a Mermillo. But I guess we can do... No, wait, everyone is injured. Once they heal up, we're gonna do some... Actually, once this is done... Uh, Mermillo... Let's give you each... Gladii. And maybe that's overkill, actually. Let's give you... Wooden Gladius. Or plural Gladii, Gladius, Gladiuses. <laughs> I don't know what the plural of Gladius would be. But you're gonna get to fight Brett and Brett 2.0. And you got a Puga and you got nothing. Good. But we're gonna. Um, we are going to to um, break in our Mermillos next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first episode in the series. And if you liked it, consider leaving a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.